Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back to World 2 Honey Bloom Galaxy. So you can... <laughs> In Bumble Beginnings. So you can show it, but I just... I got up here and I got the star. Another one. <gasps> Oh my god, I found it! What? What? <laughs> that what? was easy. Another one. It's, oh. It was off camera. Yeah, that's right, that's right. I just did a little move. It was what I was trying to do at the end of the episode, and then it didn't happen. But then it just happened, because I was good. <laughs> <laughs> because when the pressure's off, that's when daddy shines. That's when the magic happens, dude. Mm -hmm. When I know people, like, uh, hundreds of thousands of people aren't watching anymore. Yeah. Then I... Then I get real good. I will say my home performances on uh, a link between worlds have been vastly superior. Oh, to uh, the ones I did. Yeah, because you because when you start screwing up, you get frustrated more easily on camera because mm -hmm. you know you know what's coming, like the criticisms that are coming, and it makes you tighten up and screw up more. Love he's got like a fucking joyous smile on his face. So it looks like we've got a bee on board. Keep it away from me. I'm allergic. If I get stung, I'll swell right up. <laughs> like, Death will come soon, and it will be excruciating. <laughs> He'll die. <laughs> I do like watching him, though. <laughs> Think he knows any good bee tricks? Please don't let him sting me. <laughs> God, help me. <laughs> My name is Beatrix. Wait, can I... <laughs> Beatrix? <laughs> like from Harry Potter? <laughs> oh, come on, you... Son of a bitch. Like, it almost makes you not even want to get that star. Yeah, it's like, I don't even need it. Yeah. I don't need it. Yeah, I don't need your pity. <laughs> I don't need your handout. Just go burp, burp and then nothing happens. <laughs> like, I, I'm fine with it. <laughs> so true. <laughs> burp, burp. <laughs> that is a Nintendo, that is a Nintendo trope, huh? Yeah, that is a classic Nintendo, like, oh, you fucked up. <laughs> Oopie. <laughs> Oopsie toodles. All right, I gotta find the secret star in this area. It's, oh, not this one! It's so open. Sorry, Ben. You might have to say a little, do a little thing over my 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 special word there. What? Oopsie toodle? No, the the f bomb actually. Oh, I said I, I said the f bomb early on too. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe it wasn't that early. It was early. <laughs> do not worry, my friends. We are well past the one minute mark and are free to say fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuckity, fuck, fuck, fuck. It was early, and I meant it. <laughs> yeah. uh, <okay. laughs> I just, I just, it just happens, you know? Like, some, it's like, alright, well, I guess that's... Yeah, it's just part of my vernacular. Wait, it's fine. Oh, okay, got it. It's the manner in which I speak. Oh, oh, if you shine the light on them, they don't like it. Yeah. They're blinded by the light. Revved up like a douche. <laughs> Another runner in the night. Another roller in the night. I'm listening to a Rush lately. Oh yeah? Not a whole lot, but... Any particular one? No, I just tell... The Amazon Echo... To put that shit on. I'm like, Echo? Put that shit on. <laughs> and then she's like, Shuffling songs by Rush. Cool. And then I listen, and then it always puts on like, you know, Tom Sawyer. And yeah, and Limelight. Like, they're yeah. the really big ones. <laughs> I love those songs. But they they are not actually my my favorites. Oh my, no! My my favorite Rush songs tend to be fifteen to twenty minutes in length. Yeah, man. Well, you know what they say. I don't, Aaron. What do they say? They say, um, uh, he gets high on you. In the space he invades, he gets by on you. Yeah, that's what they. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got it. That's what, that's what they say. <laughs> Today's Tom Sawyer. Exit the warrior. Yeah, he's a uh, he's got real mean mean stride. I know that part. Yeah, there you go. And I know the part where it's like. <laughs> you know what? I actually do have a little uh, story about that. Oh. Um. Uh. They they recorded they recorded that album, Moving Pictures at a place called Le Studio in Quebec. Uh, a l this beautiful little studio. If you actually, um, if you watch the video, uh, Limelight by Rush, the music video, uh, it's all recorded in, in that studio. 
And it, it's really cozy looking. It's snowing outside and they're all in their pajamas <laughs> recording. And I'm like, that's how you do it, baby. Oh, yeah. Um, but in, um, so they recorded seven albums there. But then over the years, uh, the studio went out of business and it fell into disrepair. And then it caught on fire. And it was just a, just a husk, like a messed up place. Jeez. And so these guys uh, bought the land. And bought what was left of the building. These and, guys? Yeah, it's just like random dudes, uh, contractors, I guess, and um, are restoring it as a Rush museum. Oh. Yeah, and uh, I'm so happy about it um, that uh, I checked out, they've got a little website going, and I, um, like, everything was smashed up. You know, like, vagrants were staying there and doing drugs. Great job. Yeah, I'm so... Now that I want one-ups, I'm so unlucky with the one-ups. Yeah, it's amazing. Um... Uh, but... So they took, they took like, pieces of glass from the floor, and, like, pieces of wood from the floorboard, and, uh... are, are selling them, you know? Like, just to help raise money. I was like, wow, a fucking... An actual piece of, like, the recording booth glass from the studio. And so, I bought one and it came in a little case that lights up and, um, the, the guy, I talked to him a little bit, uh, via email when I ordered. And I guess he could tell that I was, like, a, a diehard Rush fan. And, uh... Well, I mean, you were buying a piece of glass from a studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm buying, essentially, garbage. <laughs> uh, but very meaningful garbage to someone like me. And, um, he, uh, so he included, um, like, as a little gift, a piece of the floorboard where Neil Peart's drums were set up. Oh, that's cool. And I was like, oh, dude, that's so nice of you. So, Meanwhile, I mean, he's got, like, fucking stacks of this shit, and he's like, I gotta get rid of this floorboard! Well, of, of course, but, I mean, like, <laughs> it, it's still, like, he still, he didn't have to do it. Yeah. He could just throw it away or burn it or whatever. Um... I thought that was very sweet, and it's it's meaningful to me. Um, so, uh, I think... I, if I could give him a little shout-out, I mean, this is specifically only for the Rush nerds among our audience, but I know... I know they are out there. I believe it's called rebuildlessstudio.com. Um, if you want to check out that website. That's really cool. Yeah, it, it is cool. It's like, just a very specific thing, and they have videos, like, showing their progress. Um, on rebuilding it, and like, especially at a time now, when the Backstreet Boys tour is so rampant and it's <laughs> on everybody's mind. Right. Like, it's very nice to watch, like, something you love get built, you know, and, to, and things get repaired. It's, it, it just feels very satisfying to me. That's really cool, man. Yeah. I, I wish I had something like that. The only thing I got... right now... It, oh, hello. Oh, now I'm gonna catch this, this little shit in no time. <laughs> um, the only thing I have like that is, uh... And I've talked about it before, but... Uh, I have... So, you know, there, there, there's that whole thing about the, the Alamogordo landfill that E.T. was dropped in. Yes. So it was real, they found it, mm -hmm. um, and they auctioned off, like... Like... Five copies of E.T. among the other games that were dumped there. I remember that. Um, but I got one of them. No, I remember that. We we all were like, oh my god. Yeah, and it's it's like the one thing in my collection that people are like, dude, what? Let me see. Yeah. Um so I still have it. We thought we lost it for a little while. Yeah. Like, that was scary. <laughs> yes, it was very scary. We were like, won't get one of those again. Yeah, so I mean it's a piece of history, right? And it's yes. like normally I wouldn't spend the amount of money that I spent on it, but it was, and, and I'll just say it for the the purpose of the story. It was it was around a thousand bucks, right? For this for this dirt riddled copy of ET. Yeah, and exactly the same time frame too as La Studio, like 1981, like that kind of like, not ancient history, but like certainly ancient enough to be like real fucked up if you don't take care of it, you know? Yeah. Um. So. Because this is such a limited item, and it and it is it comes with a certificate of authenticity, and it came from dirt. It came with dirt from the landfill and shit. Like it's yes, like it was very dirty. It's stuff that you can prove is real. Um, I just 
because sometimes I'll go on eBay and I'll just be like, what's the most like expensive thing in like a category? You know, I'll be like, what's the most expensive magic card on eBay right now? Hmm. What's the most expensive like Pokemon card or whatever? But I was like, what's the most expensive video game? Hmm. And it was two listings of the Alamogordo ET. Mm -hmm. Um, both of them were over a million dollars. No. Listed over a million dollars, yeah. What? There's no way. But no, I mean, here's the thing, neither of them have sold. Of course. But both of them are listed for over a million dollars. That, that actually takes some balls, man. Because th they're probably people who bought it for a thousand bucks, too. Yes, exactly. Um, because they, they were all around the same price, because they were all around the same time. Right. So if you wanted one, it was like, you either got that one, or that one, or that one, Oops. or that one. Um, but all it takes is for one person to be like, alright, and then buy it, and now yeah, it's and then, worth a million dollars. then the market's set. Um, so... I'm waiting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just put it out there, like, dude, undersell them. Just be like, yo. I'll part with this for five hundred thousand. No, yeah, honestly, like I was like, what if I put it up for like eight hundred thousand? Like, would would people be like, there it is? That's what I was waiting for. What a Cause deal! Because it, yeah. it's got like like seventy people watching it. Of you know? course, like, yeah. There, there's people that are like super interested in this. I'm sure they're more interested to see if some lunatic will <laughs> pay yeah. a million dollars for it. Oh well, isn't this adorable? <sighs> Yay, goo! Yeah! Oh, give me those one man! Yeah, that's nice. Oh, give me those coins. Dude. Yeah, I'm just getting loot after loot. Dude, Luigi stage is like. It's give pretty me, nice. Give me this S, bro. What? I'm sorry? Give me this S, is what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Open your fucking ears! <laughs> Open your fucking ears! <laughs> I like the idea of. Um. Uh, oh. abbreviating the non-curse words. <laughs> oh. <laughs> With your fucking E's. You fucking M? Moron. <laughs> if I- 70?! I only have nine! Where am I supposed to get 70 from? That's too many! Oh, there's not You enough. must be out of your fucking M! <laughs> <laughs> Can I get- Oh, there's coins here. Okay, great. But I don't- I don't lose coins if I get hit or anything, I just... Yeah, this isn't Sonic. I just have them. Okay. That's good. I love this Disney-ass music. Yeah, it really feels just, like, um... I'm in Pioneer Land. Yeah. Well, old Papa Bear had almost <laughs> come home for the day. <laughs> you can meet Woody over there! And he's like a freak, and he, he looks... He just looks like not healthy. He's always smiling. Yeah, how's it going? I'm Woody. <laughs> Woody's Roundup. And then, do you ever see that video of, um, of the kids? <clears throat> Let me start that over. Gotta be a little more specific, Aaron. <laughs> Did you ever see the video <laughs> of, um, that Woody and Jesse meet up at Disney? And then some kid's like, Andy's home! And then they all just, like, drop dead. Because it's, like, in the movie. <laughs> Oh, no, I- I see what you're saying. I have not seen it. it. Sounds delightful. It's funny. It's a good bit. Ah, oh, man, I- 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 I fudged up, yo! What I could've got- I could- I, How am I supposed to get that many coins- Hurry! By that point, though! Okay. I, oh, no... Whatever. God, if only someone had told you to hurry. You did, and I heard you. <laughs> but you know what? So, I opted not to. Sometimes it's just hard. I've already done this part though. If I do it with Luigi, does that give me a di okay? <laughs> I guess that's that, just that's how a, it's gonna go. That was a choice, and you made it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least I got ten one ups now. Yeah, it's true. Can't can't fault me for that, bro. No, things are good. Oh, oh, things are less good. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going back up. <laughs> oh, that would have been awesome. <laughs> That would have been a, an all-time save. How am I supposed to get that many coins at that juncture? I wouldn't even worry about it. But that might be the secret star. Which I need to advance. Fudge. Fudge. Okay, 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 I'm gonna hang out with my friend. Then I'll play some Mario and, and my life will end. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
Well, Woody. Had a Woody. I remember when I was a kid, I was a child. Uh-huh. We were, um... Making boner jokes at Woody's expense? I was really... into... Burger King had these, like, Toy Story toys. And there was, like... It was back when they did, like... There was the... There was the kid's meal toy, you know? Get off of that puppy! And then there was, like, the special toy that you had to pay extra to get, and it was, like, bigger. And for Toy Story, it was, like, these puppets. I loved them. And I wanted to get all of them. Okay. And, uh, I had Woody. And I needed Buzz. Buzz was, like, the one I needed, and it was, like, the most popular one. Anyway... 30, 30, 30. Okay, great. Um, <laughs> anyway... Uh... I went there. And I was like, hey, do you have Buzz? And then the woman was like, no, all we have are Woodies. <laughs> and then my dad and my brother laughed. But I didn't, because I didn't know what the fuck they were talking oh, about. Oh, yeah, of course. So I was like, what's so funny? And they were like, I don't even remember what they said, but they were probably like, you'll understand when you're older or something. Yeah. And I understand now that I'm older. But... I don't think it's that funny. <laughs> wow, Aaron. What a, what a true tale of wonder. <laughs> Not to sell out my, my brother and my dad or anything, but I probably would have given it like a little like <laughs> one of those. Yeah, maybe. But yeah, I was just kind of like, oh yeah, I remember that. Eh, whatever. <laughs> not, like I'm not, I'm not in stitches from that. Mm. See, I already did all this junk. Am I gonna get a special one because I'm playing as as Lugie? Come at me, bro. Gotcha. Your child is dust. Nicely done. Oops. Okay. Now I am the one who is dust. <laughs> now I am the one who is ups. All we are is dust and wind. Uh, I don't have enough star bits anymore. <laughs> I don't feel You're like a point, Blue. I'm You're going back to the map. This is a waste. What? What's a waste? That me doing this stage just as I did before, but as Luigi. I don't think that was the goal. Was that the goal? Was that the secret star? Did I just ruin all of my progress? Why not just look it up online? Because it takes a long time, and there's an iPad right in front of me, and I can easily do that. Yeah, just pause the episode. For God's sake. But then I gotta write down when it pauses and what was the name of this? <laughs> Hidden block? Puzzle plank? Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, what a triumph of the human spirit. The Surgeon General warns that go fuck yourself. Mm -hmm. Go fucking shut up and suck my ass. Boy, it's going real it's going real wild on that fiddle, ain't he? Do 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 do. It looks like that's what Luigi's saying to Mario. <laughs> Boy, listen to that fiddle. <laughs> it just won't stop. Now that we're in space and everything. <laughs> but Feeling. space has no sound. Well, we're not really in space. I guess technically we're always in space. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll allow it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh. I don't need star bits, I need coins. You stupid block of nothing. You waste of space. You tired... Tired man. <laughs> oh, I can get the one-ups. You remember when I did that? I'm about to do it again, bro. I do remember that. That was very, uh... Productive and helpful. Yeah, it and takes you... a fucking year, though. Check this out. And you got many coins and many bits. This takes forever and it really sucks now. It's really pleasant the first time. But it just, uh, sucks. Wow, this is a flawless run though. Dang. Oh, yeah, it's called being epic. I don't know if you would know anything about that. Probably not. <laughs> oh, you didn't get that surgery. <laughs> <laughs> the epic surgery. <laughs> Doctor, could you implant something in my buttocks that will make me more epic? <laughs> you got it. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I specialize in. <laughs> Open up. <laughs> Open up. You know how Don't phrase it like that. <laughs> well, I mean... Isn't there a pipe around here? 
<laughs> yeah. That's what he said. There it is. Get in the pipe. Just get in the pipe. So you get the coin, and then it spits out little three coins. Oh, dang. And that's how you get the 70 coins. Oh. Uh, 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 really sucking ass here. Uh, 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 <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Sorry. Shit. Shit, get the coins, get the coins. Oh, no. Oh, God. Yes. No. Yes. Oh, I'm so good. Mm. Can I do it again? More. Oh, you know what movie I also saw? What did you see? Uh, quiet Place. Crimson... What's Quiet Place? A Quiet Place? A Quiet Place. You just said it was Quiet Place. Is it no, Quiet no, no, Place the, or the, A the, Quiet the, Place? The, uh, the, uh, was my burp. Oh. Never heard of Quiet... of A Quiet Place? Yeah, no, it's got, uh, Kaczynski in it. Yes, Mr. Man from The Office. Justin Kaczynski. And his real-life wife, John, Emily Blunt. John Zis John Chris Kres Kres Nance It was very good. I thought it was very good. Very tense. You know they made a second one. Yeah, and they can't release it. What? Why? Because the uh, uh, Backstreet Boys reunion tour. But why don't they just put it on Netflix? Uh, I think they said that they don't want to rob the audience of the experience of getting to see it with a bunch of people because that's the best way to see a movie like that. Oh, I see. Yeah. You better transform. Or maybe they just can't get a deal with Netflix. Oh, dip. Wow. Is, is that really what, what we've come to now? Netflix is so dominant that they're like, Pfft. Oh, you had to put it in theaters, huh? Couldn't get a deal with Netflix? <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Kind of. Yeah, it's crazy that it's- that, that that's even a joke you can make. Well, because going to the theater sucks. I don't know, man. Like, we'll see, like, I, I, I mean, you know, we just got an Alamo Draft House here in LA. Mm hmm Which is great. I don't know what that is. It's a place where they take movie going seriously. Okay. Um... So, like, you're, you're required to, like... I don't know what their specific rules are, but you have to, like, give up your phone, or... They, they have, like, somebody who's, like, watching the audience the entire time. And if you're on your phone, or... Talking or anything, they'll straight up kick you out. Wow! Yeah, it's like it's like the rules of the establishment. That's awesome. Oops. Um, so we just got one of those here, and uh, so I, I feel like that's gonna be the future of, of movie going. Is we're gonna get like boutique theaters because it's like going to a theater sucks. Like everyone's loud and yeah, they're babies, and it's like I just want to see a fucking movie. Like I want to give me a break, man. Yeah. I remember seeing Attack of the Clones in the theater, and th this was my worst movie-going experience. Uh, so Attack of the Th Clones in the theater, and, um... It looks like you have a small, white poo on your head. <laughs> uh, sorry, um... And there was a little kid... I don't know if... Maybe older than Baby, but certainly very, very young. Um... And the kid just the entire time was going, ah, 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 <laughs> like for the entire hour and a half of the movie. And I was like, do I have to choke out this parent? Like, what is that? Is this baby here alone? Oh, I'm I'm the guy, dude. I'm the guy. We'll tell, we'll tell. I will absolutely get up and like tell the attendants. How how do you, oh tell the attendants? Yeah. Yes. But you- you won't confront the people yourself. Oh, no. Yeah. I mean, what's the point? Yeah. What, what are they- they're just gonna be like, just deal with it, bro. Like, <laughs> an attendant comes over and they're like, okay. Like, that's yeah. a- that's a level of authority that I don't have in a movie theater. Right, I suppose you're right. So, yes, I have done that many times. And, like, I'm sorry. You know, I know it's hard being a parent. But you're also ruining it for everybody, including yeah. yourself. Yeah, yeah, there's no way you can enjoy the movie. Unless you're just so dead inside from hearing, <laughs> like eight thousand times Some a day. Some people you, are, man. Uh, of course. Some people genuinely don't like their kids. <laughs> that that's like a freaky idea to me. Yeah, that's sad, man. That's... It's it's sad, and as someone who wants to have kids at some point, like, um, it's a, it's a little 
It's all nuts. The, the the just the idea that like you might have one and you just don't like it. <laughs> I don't like this one. Can I get another? Yeah. Can I get a little bit of a do over? Trade it back. Is there a GameStop trade-in policy? What I so yeah. What I like to do is if especially if they're like right behind me, I'll turn around and like gently be like. SHUT THE FUCK UP! <laughs> and then I stand up and I urinate on them. <laughs> <laughs> I- I will say though, I have- I have done it directly. And it never works. Really? Yeah, they're always like, kill this asshole. Cause they're with their friends and they don't want to look like a- Of course, A yeah. wiener. Yeah. They don't want to look like they just got dominated. Yeah. But it's like... Dude, seriously, shut up. Yeah. Like, we all paid money to be here. I feel the weeniest... Uh... Like walking to someone else and like telling on them, but like I agree. If you do it yourself, they're just like, and you are. Yeah, <laughs> it's it, it it truly it's like there's a level of authority that you need to do that. And yeah, if you, you work at the movie theater, then that's the authority. And it's like, oh, oh, okay. It's like you're in their establishment. They are the police yes. of this tiny little pathetic world. Okay. Mm. That was an electric goo. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> yeah, no, I totally agree. So totally. I don't like going to theaters anymore. Unless it's a th okay. We haven't been to one in a while. The last one we went to was, uh... Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Where yeah, we famously came out afterwards and Matt said, Well... That just happened. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot how to use Yoshi. Yeah, you sure did. Man, that movie was awful. It was a bummer. It was tremendously bad. Yeah, I watched the teaser trailer of the 2014 Godzilla and was reminded of what an amazing, amazing teaser trailer that is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, the the trailer for the new Godzilla is, is awesome. Yeah. Like, I remember being in... What were we... We were seeing a movie, and 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 there's like that face-off between like Ghidorah and Godzilla, and it's just like this flat shot. Yes, it's like s super dramatic of them like standing off, and I was just like, "Yo, that's dope!" Like yep. out loud. Yep. And uh, shit sucked. <laughs> yeah, it it just it it was the same thing both times. It was like. I can't believe they didn't learn their lesson from the first one. Like, we don't care about the people. We just don't. Unless, like, they're... brilliant people... saying intelligent dialogue and making smart decisions... and still struggling. Like they are in Shin Godzilla. Which yes. is a freaking masterpiece. Oh, Shin Godzilla's... beautiful. What a beautiful movie about the the the, the state of uh, political times and whatever. <laughs> I don't live there. <laughs> How am I supposed to know? Yeah. Uh. Give me lots of things to eat with Yoshi. Stop running. Stop he, running. Come he, towards me. Will he run off the sides? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. That was a very honest answer. <laughs> it was almost like. A different uh -oh. answer, I uh -oh. can tell. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, yeah, never a good sign. Boy, how weird must it be to be outside like a space station and you accidentally fall off, but you don't fall, you're just kind of hovering there above the earth. That is, D Dan, you've just described my, like, my biggest fear really? ever. Really? Yeah, dude, that's terrifying. I suppose it You're is. Just drifting away, and then it's like, well, I'm I'm gone now. I'm gone. Like, this, well, I'm I'm, just... I'm assuming you're still tethered to the ship. Oh, got it. Yeah, this isn't a uh, gravity. Yeah, a, a Sandra Bullock gravity situation. Although that parts of that movie were very disturbing for exactly that reason. I I mean, it's it's not just because if you're just like, oh, I'm gonna die, like, okay, then it just happens. But, in a situation like that, it's like... It's- it's not gonna happen for a while. Right. And it's just slow... And you're- and you're alone. Which is, like, the worst part of it. Right. Is that you're just alone. Man. What a bummer. Yeah. 
Sp space can be a hot downer. <laughs> a hot downer. Yoshi, please. Unless you're talking about Space Quest or Star Wars, in which case space is fun and chill and cool. Star Wars. Specific- Oh, come on, man. Specifically the fun parts of Star Wars. Yeah, specifically the- the- the 4, 5, and 6. Yeah. Yeah. And like, maybe 7. Maybe. I liked 7. I liked 8. I liked 9. You saw 9? Mm-hmm. Man, I haven't even seen 9. What do you mean, I haven't seen 9? Rise of Skywalker? Yeah. You're like the only person in the universe who hasn't seen that. Really? I think so. I just don't care. Well, that's a great reason not to see Well, it. the thing is, I love Star Wars. I mean, mm -hmm. you know. Look at my fucking lightsaber collection. Like, mm -hmm. I love Star Wars. But... I just don't care. <laughs> like, no, fair enough. Those movies... I saw the prequels and I cared. Because it was, like, about things that I liked. It was about, like, Jedis and... Yeah! And, oh, and An Anakin and Obi-Wan. And I, it's like, I like those people. It's like, they, those movies sucked. Right. They were pretty bad. But at least I got to see a dude that I know. People that I think are cool. Mm. Darth Vader, maybe. But Force Awakens, or the, 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 the new movies are like, I don't... I wanted to like all these characters, but I just, they, they suck. Yeah, fair enough. I, I, like, I enjoyed it. I, I, I will say I like The Mandalorian more than any oh, movie. The, the Mandalorian's besides, fantastic. Uh, besides 4, 5, and 6. Goo? It's a uh, the Mandalorian's like a like a spritzer. It's like oh thank goodness. Like a fine fine. It's like a hot day out, and I just got this nice like cool drink. Like a nice fine wine. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's how I feel. That's my that's my Star Wars opinion on the internet. I hope you liked it. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe <laughs> to my Star Wars related things that I put on the internet. Which I'm sure you all want to hear all of. Everybody's got a Star Wars opinion, man. Are you sure about that? I think people like to let it slide when it comes to Star Wars. You th I don't know, man. <laughs> I, it's twofold. It's like, well, you know, it's, it's, it's Star Wars. You know, it's like, yeah, but you still watched it, you know what I mean? Like, right. And you still were like, oh man, the lightsaber, you know? Yes. But... Oh, I messed up. <laughs> Just say I done messed up. I done messed up. Oh, there's another one. Um... But people still have... You know, their, their, their opinions. Right. And they're like, that one was the worst one, and that one was the best one. And, and that you're one was okay. Idiot. If you feel differently, you're an idiot. Yeah, and that was, that one was not even because... In the... In the first one, there were, they said a thing, and they said a thousand generations, and then in this one, they said a thousand years, which is wrong. So which one is it, Star Wars? But then, <laughs> you have the people that are like, that was fun. You know what I mean? Aaron, I'm gonna be one million percent honest with you. Yeah. I just fell asleep for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I... have been going to bed, as a result of the Backstreet Boys tour, I've been going to bed at an average of five in the morning, and sleeping until usually three in the afternoon. Yeah. So waking up at a normal time, and talking with my bro, about a subject that relaxes me, like Star Wars, <laughs> I was like, Star Wars. You're like the opposite of anybody else. The like Star Wars doesn't make your blood boil. Oh god, it was the exact opposite. My thought process was like, I like four, five, and six. <laughs> I also like seven, eight, and nine. <laughs> Other numbers I know are one, two, and three. <laughs> you know what I'll say? You know what I'll say about the prequels? Yes, tell me. I love the aesthetics. Hmm. Like, if you watch... I might have... Did we talk about this already? I don't think so. Um, if, if you watch... The first one especially, because that's when they had to establish everything. Um, yeah, it's very pretty. There, there's all these, like, weird creative ideas that they did. 
I, in particular, there's- Are you saying that every shot is so dense? Well, I mean, <laughs> listen, there's, uh, there's a lot to not like about this. <laughs> but, uh, there's, um, the, the one thing I always think about is, is Queen Amidala has this blaster. Mm -hmm. And it's just like this neat, like, 70s sci-fi blaster that, like, is very, like, feminine. And it's just cool, and it makes like a cool sound. And they 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 did that. They did that shit. They established like this new aesthetic that was very neat, and had shit going on that was new. Mm -hmm. But and and the, the new ones didn't really do that. They were like, oh, it's um, Anakin's lightsaber, which you know like <laughs> yeah, was I in the prequels, but. There was also like Mace Windu's lightsaber and like fucking yes. Count Dooku's du Dooku's got the curved lightsaber. Yeah, mm. I think I think that was probably a choice because there was such a negative response to the prequels, which had tried so many new things and done gone in so many directions that like they figured the way to win Star Wars fans back was to go a little bit back to basics. You know what I mean? Yeah, but the... It's not like the basics were not new back then. Like, every movie had, like, new shit. It's like the second movie had, like, the fucking snow speeders and the... and the... and the... the, the probe droid and the... AT-ATs and the third movie had AT-STs and it's like, it was all new. Yeah. And then, and then they're like, oh, well, this also has AT-STs. It's like, who the fuck? Care? <laughs> This is something I remember. It's like in those movies, they like it was like oh it was cool because it was like these little mobile things that were like in the forest and the Empire had them and they walked through the trees and that was neat, visually. Anyway. Yeah, I, I yeah I guess I know what you mean. Like, <laughs> it, it's I don't know it's it's one of those things where you almost go so deep with something like that and and. and so many people talk about it and have so many opinions on it. It's almost like maybe there really was no way to do it to make everyone happy, you know? Oh, yeah. Totally. Star I mean, Wars is so fucking beloved, like... Yeah. What are you gonna do? Yeah, the only thing that would make people... It's like, make a good movie? Mostly happy is... Well, sure, make a good movie. But also just, like, essentially copy the formula. Like, the old give me the same thing but different kind of <laughs> deal. Give me the same thing but different. It's true, man. That's what the Force Awakens did. Sure. And people loved it. It really wasn't that different. People people loved it for, God um... God damn it. Uh, for like a, a half a year. To a year. And then... And then people started saying, it's just a new hope. And then I think that sort of caught on and People flagged on it a little bit. But it's like, yeah, though. Like, obviously. <laughs> like, who cares, though? I don't know. I, I certainly don't. Good! Uh, yes! Gotcha, you fucking child! Yeah. Die! I murdered a child today. <laughs> what about it? Great job, Aaron. Thanks, man. So proud. Thanks. Well, you know what? You can be proud of me next time on Game Grumps. I'll do that. I'm gonna start right now, though, to, to get, like, a nice early start. <laughs> Starbit! I can feel Starbit. it. I can feel it. I can feel Starbit. your pride. I don't need the Starbit! I don't care! You should get it, though. No, but stop, though. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye. Forever. It'd be cool if you got it, though. <laughs> So this is our last episode. We didn't wanna... <laughs> Thanks for going, joining us on this wild ride, everybody. Uh, Eight years, can you believe it? Yep. Yeah. Well, see ya.